We take our feet for granted, that is, until they start to hurt. There are many conditions which can make walking a painful task. Dr. Victoria Foley discusses the many roles a podiatrist plays in a person's overall health. A podiatrist is a doctor that specializes in foot and ankle health care. On a daily basis, you deal with ingrown toenails, toenail fungus, athlete's feet, bunions, hammer toes, and heel pain or plantar fasciitis. The most common misconception is that your foot will get better on its own and that you don't have to come in to see a doctor to get better. If you sprain your ankle and it swells or bruises, you need to come in to get an x-ray to make sure there's not a fracture or a torn ligament. If there's a fracture or a torn ligament, you need to be immobilized immediately for six to eight weeks. If this isn't performed, the ligament will heal loose and you'll have chronic ankle sprains. It's very important for people to take care of things at an earlier stage than a later stage. I can help them get back on their feet much faster if they come in earlier. I've had a lot of children that have come in that have had flat feet and that they have been labeled lazy at school because they couldn't keep up with the other children. So once I treated their flat feet with orthotics, they were able to exercise and play with all the other kids and leave a very healthy, active life. I have a scanner that scans people's feet to make custom orthotics. And there's two arches in the feet, the long arch and then the metatarsal arch, to make sure that they're in proper position. So when someone stands on this machine, there's a scan, and then I get a color imprint to see where all the pressures are. So it gives me a lot of information on someone that has a high arch foot which versus a flat foot, and also a diabetic that might have a callus that could perform become an ulcer in the future so that I can customize an orthotic to prevent some of these problems. Plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of a tissue that's connected from the heel to the ball of the foot. I actually had this when I was a surgical resident because I was standing for 10 to 12 hours per day. And this needs to be treated with ice, stretching, changing your shoes, anti-inflammatory medication, cortisone injections, sometimes physical therapy, surgery, and there's a new treatment called extracorporeal shockwave therapy that's non-invasive, that's very exciting. What it is, is when you have plantar fasciitis, you have chronic inflammation. This is a device that actually puts a shock into your foot to put you into acute inflammation that you're gonna heal from, where cells like human growth hormone will be attracted to the injured area of your foot to heal. It comes from the technology um, orthotripsy that they used to break up kidney stones. And when you have this, you can usually go back to work within two to five days. And you have to decrease your activity still from four to six weeks, but it keeps you much more mobilized than an open surgery would. I've had instances where I've saved someone's foot when they've had an infection, and I've helped people get back to playing the sports that they want to play. I've helped athletes on high school teams, you know, be able to play two to three sports and, and with all their training. It's, it's very fulfilling.